going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support you know guys some of these stories i do on here are about child abuse and this story right here is a uh, sickening which i always say all these stories are sickening but you know what i'm saying Boom, this woman picks it right here. Let's jump right into it. It's 13-year-old Chelsea Duperon of Wayne, Michigan. This woman right here has charges of first-degree felony murder. Well, well, felony murder and first-degree child abuse. Why, you may ask. This lady uh, beat her daughter's head in. Lila Castle, age 8, with a blunt object and then claimed that she fell down the steps that's the first lie she told and what she says after that is really going to blow your mind in my humble opinion no offense to anybody but this woman need to pale beat off her face here's her story the injuries were so bad it left investigators stunned i cannot even describe to you how heinous these pictures were and how much they truly affected me. A mother from Wayne charged with beating her eight-year-old daughter to death. And we need to warn you right off the top here at five o'clock, what you are about to hear is disturbing. Late this afternoon, 30-year-old Chelsea Duperon stood silently as she was charged with felony murder and first-degree child abuse. Victor Williams live in Wayne for us tonight. Victor, she claimed that the child fell down the steps. Yeah, that's right, Devin. That's what she said originally. But after investigators took a closer look, they ended up finding out that this little girl ended up dying from blunt force trauma to the head. And then the more they looked into it, the more disturbing things got. She was the most amazing child that anyone has ever seen. 30-year-old Chelsea Renee Duperon is now facing several charges in connection to the death of her 8-year-old daughter, Lila Castle. The same little girl often had fun with this man's daughter, who did not want to go on camera. She loved coming over and asking if she could get a Slurpee. Like she, she was the most innocent child that I've ever met. Police say that on Saturday, March the 16th, they received a call about a child not breathing on Phyllis Street in Wayne. After making it to the scene, they found the little girl in the bedroom of the home unresponsive, suffering from multiple injuries to her head and neck, wearing only a diaper. Her mother said it was because she couldn't move. Medics took her to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Right now, investigators are pointing the finger at Chelsea, saying they believe she's responsible for what happened to her eight-year-old daughter originally on March the 13th. During the investigation, officers noticed that she had significant swelling on her hand and arm. When asked more about what happened, Chelsea said her daughter fell down the stairs and that a ghost or bad spirit was also in the house. But the story kept changing. She was completely unrecognizable. There was no way for anybody who saw a child in that condition to not think that she would need immediate medical care. As a result, Chelsea is now being charged with felony murder and first degree child abuse. The judge denied her bond. I truly hope that whatever happened and whatever the truth is, that it all gets revealed. And I hope that justice is served because whatever happened to that baby, she did not deserve it. Well, Chelsea is pleading not guilty. She's due back in court on March the 25th. In the meantime, the courts would like her to get a mental evaluation. Victor Williams, Local 4, back to you. Uh, Victor, does anyone else live at the home with Chelsea and her daughter? Well, we're hearing that Chelsea's boyfriend was also there. From what we understand, he is communicating with police and cooperating as they would like him to. Right now, no charges have been filed, but they aren't saying that he tried to step in and do anything either. Yeah, it's just horrific. Yeah. All right, Victor. Guys, uh, that's the story. And um, <sighs> Layla Castle, may she rest in peace. And I'm going to be honest with you. There are some people out here, a lot of women out here, don't want to be mothers. They are. I don't know what it is inside you to raise a child to the age of eight and then all of a sudden just take it off the planet like it's nothing. So she had a boyfriend. So the boyfriend, they said he ain't in trouble, but he ain't do nothing neither. Now, when somebody usually does something like this to a kid, there's a pattern of abuse. 
So you can't tell me as this dude, he shouldn't be charged because I'm sh more than sure he saw her hit that girl in an indecent way at one time or another. Neighbor said she was a sweet girl. Came over the house. Enjoyed herself like little girls do or little boys do or little just children, period. Probably happy to be away from that hell that she was going through inside the house. I don't know what made this woman do this, but she's charged with felony murder and first degree child abuse, meaning you met to hurt that baby. Always the same M.O. Call to the house, baby non-responsive. Oh, fell down the steps. Oh, fell off the bed. Always something falling. Always falling. I ain't seen that much falling in my life with children. You know what I'm saying? Lady said the baby was unrecognizable. Said looking at the kid, you can't tell me as a normal human being with common sense that you wouldn't see this baby needed a medical, immediate medical attention. That's the part that's stupid. They play stupid and think everybody else stupid to play right along with her. Lucky I ain't the cop that showed up there. That's cracking me up, man. People just stupid. And man, I mean, it's hard. I guess it's hard being a cop showing up and seeing something like that. And then they lie right to your damn face. It's a ghost in the house. It's making me crazy. That it been me. Oh, for real? It's a ghost? And, and, and it does stuff in the house? Is that it over there? I'd point to the ground. As soon as she'd bend over like that, I'd kick Casper out of her behind. She's sitting up there looking stupid as hell in that picture. Your baby's gone. You put a pamper on the baby. Oh, because the baby wasn't moving. I put a pamper on Girl, eight years old, fully functional. And you put a pamper on this, this, this child. Of course, the child was immobilized from the trauma that you did. They said the baby had blunt force trauma to the head. That's a vicious sight, man. It's a vicious sight. My thing is, what type of dude staying with a girl and don't have order in his house? Or in the house, period. Regardless if it's her house or not, a man going to bring order. Why he ain't bring no order? Why? Because he ain't care nothing about that kid. That's the thing, man. There are a lot of guys out here that just shack up with chicks and don't say nothing about what they do in the house, no matter how crazy it is. A lot of times they get mad at the kids because the kid's just there and they can't really uh, spend time with the guy like they want to. Say they want to go on a vacation or the guy got the freedom to get up and go somewhere and you got to watch kids. A lot of times they take it out on their children. Them children don't ask to be here. You chose to have the baby. And now we've got the baby here. It's the child's fault. Here's another thing that, that messes me up. Where the fathers be at sometimes in these situations? I'm sure the little girl seen her dad. She don't tell him that, that he, she getting beat up. Like the story I just did with that little baby. I mean, the little baby can't talk. But I mean, where's the men in, in these situations? Just, I mean, it, it really makes you wonder what's really going on out of here. I can't have no kid and not check on it periodically if I'm not with the mom. And that brings me to another point. And I want you to hear me on this. This is to the fellas. Because for a little while in my life, I was guilty of this. You can't when something like this happens or some type of injustice happens to your child. You can't sit at a funeral and cry and act like you were a victim too if you yourself was not there for your child at the time. And that's real. That's real. You can't get mad or say something if you was not there. For a short time when I came out here in Houston, I felt like a failure because I felt like I wasn't there for my children to see me every day. Though I kept in contact with them, to me, it wasn't enough. And that made my mission on getting on my feet and building a business the number one priority. I put everything else aside because I had a goal. And no matter how many small steps I had to take, I took them with blinders on. Everybody wants love. Everybody, you know, we're human beings. We're meant to go through life at pairs. But we got to be very careful of who we pair up with. We have to choose our mates and our life partners, just like we choose our friends wisely. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.